With 24 questions worth two points each, the multiple choice section is the biggest part of the test. To help you out, here are multiple tips to help you on your multiple choice section. I'm Miss Marino. And I'm Mrs. Owens. And this is Everything You Need to Know About the Algebra 1 Region, Part 4, Multiple Choice Tips. First tip, slow down. There are answer choices put in there to trick you, so read carefully and take your time. Second, check your work. Be sure to use your cheating device, aka your calculator. Everybody makes silly mistakes on tests because we're nervous. Use your calculator to double check your answers. If you're stuck on a question, circle it and go back to it at the end. That way, instead of eating up all your time, you can return to it with fresh eyes. Usually when you look at it the second time, the answer will be obvious to you. Don't fill in the Scantron until the end. Seriously, you guys, wait until you're certain of the answers and fill out the Scantron all at once. If you don't know an answer, guess. Well, not just guess, make an educated guess. Eliminate any obviously wrong answers if you can. You can also use the Sesame Street method. Which of these doesn't look like the others? For example, in this question, asking about a linear correlation, three of the choices have similarly random scatters, while this choice is the one that looks linear. If you have an algebra equation, you can just plug in the choices to find the correct answer. And that's it. Now let's see, you are, ah, D. All of the above. 